All right, everybody, welcome to our hot topic for Monday night, December 10th. I can't, I don't even know where October and November went. How can it possibly be December 10th? I just don't even know. Um, I hope you all have gotten a lot of your Christmas shopping done and um, that you're getting ready for the fun holidays. And so what I wanted to do is give you some tips and tricks to make, to help you make sure that you still have a business on January 1st even with all the holiday merrymaking, because that's going to become very important to you come January 2nd if um, that you have parties on your calendar. So what we're going to do is talk about um, ways that we can take advantage of all of the fun stuff that's about to happen. So today is Janu uh, January, <laughs> today is December 10th. In 10 days, the company is going to be unrolling, rolling out for us the new spring summer catalog all of the new jewelry and turning on the new catalog so that we can, I don't know, not only see it, but maybe even sell from it. Who knows? Could be that quick. Um, and, but then suddenly we'll get invited to all these holiday parties and it'll be Christmas and then it'll be New Year's Eve and then it'll be January 5th and we'll go, wait a minute, I have this beautiful new spring catalog. I haven't ordered any yet. And it's January 5th, I don't have any parties on my calendar. Now what am I going to do? So we're going to avoid that by spending just a little bit of time over the next seven days to make sure that we have a great January. I want you to think about the month of January as a way of starting over. Think about how it's such a fresh start. Everybody makes New Year's resolutions, right? And we all want um, that, we all want to... Um, Take advantage of this um, fresh breeze, the fresh wind of getting past the holidays and into the new year um, with a clean slate. The cool thing is that the clean slate can also mean getting your calendar the way you want it ahead of time so that the, the clean slate is actually making the money you wanted to in 2018. It's um, proven to yourself that you can do it in 2019. Think how good that would feel. One of the best things that we have ever come up with is this concept of launch party plus four with each new catalog. Because think about it. If you host your own party with the brand new catalog, uh, right after Christmas and into the new year, you are the hostess and you're also the consultant. And so that means that you're gonna have, take, you're gonna take advantage of all the free jewelry, and who knows, January is typically one of the best months of the entire year in host rewards. What if that holds to be true this year too? What if you could get, oh, I don't know, you know, a whole lot more in host rewards by holding a thousand dollar party yourself with all the new jewelry. So think of a fun theme and I want you to pick a date of when you yourself will do your spring kickoff. The next thing I want you to think about is what are, where are those other four parties going to come from? This is where I want you to get strategic because let's say we're offering not only a brand new spring catalog with all this gorgeous new jewelry that nobody's seen yet, but we're also offering a great host reward that we're going to find out about on December 20th. And we have these great things to offer. Don't you think that we can be a little bit choosy on who we're going to be offering these, these parties to? So think about it. who they who might they be? Maybe there are particular towns that you really want to do parties in in 2019. You get to decide that. Maybe there are particular friends that you have always wanted to do a party with. And this gives you a chance to offer it to her for January. Maybe there are key hostesses that you want to give it give a party to as a reward. Because let's face it, you only have a certain number of dates available in the month of January to do parties. But if you've got a special carrot, two carrots, a new spring catalog, and maybe a special host reward for those hostesses in January, wouldn't you want to be a little choosy on who you're going to do those parties with? So think about it strategically from a business perspective. Who are your key hostesses for January? Who are you going to book those parties with? Reaching out to them in the next seven days is the most important component. And here's why. Let's say you can reach out to 10 women, 10 key people in the towns where you want to do parties and book more parties with the key people who have done great parties for you in the past as a thank you. 
and you get them all on the calendar. Let's say you put your launch party and four more parties on the calendar with invitations and save the dates already done. It only takes 15 minutes to get all that going for each of those hostesses. And on the 20th, you order in your catalogs. What if by the time Christmas rolls around, you have all the new catalogs and on the 26th or 27th, you can make sure each of your new hostesses not only has all of her uh, invitations out for her January parties, but now she's got new catalogs from you. And her friends have already been ordering on her party, and now they can start ordering on the new catalog right away without even having to wait. And maybe you tell her, make your wish list by December 31st. So I know what's on your wish list out of the brand new spring catalog. And I'll tell you right now what's gonna happen is that January 2nd is gonna roll around and the 3rd and the 4th and the 5th, those ladies know they're having a party because they have new catalogs in their hands. They have already created a wish list out of the new catalog. They have already maybe even gotten orders from some of their friends on their party because they have already put out the save the date and um, completed their guest list and invited people. So can you see how that alone sets you up for a great night's sleep on December 31st because you know that you've got those parties already solid and they're not going to cancel on you. Typically though, what we find is we have really great ideas and we, oh, I'm going to talk to her before Christmas and next thing you know, everything gets in the way. And next thing we know, it's January 14th and we go, well, that's not enough time to book parties. And um, I, so I'm just, I'm not going to worry about it. And there goes your January. But here's the key. Everything that we can do in the next seven days will impact our January parties that actually hold. But the parties that actually hold in January turn into the parties that we hold in February and March too. And that's why we want to spend a little extra time over the next seven days. So what are the key things that we want to do? First thing we want to do grab a January calendar. When can you do parties? Mark off when you're going to be away. Mark off when you don't want to work. Mark off um, a day at the end of the month. If you live in an area that's prone to snowstorms, Wendy, this does not apply to you. <laughs> but here at my house, it applies to us and we do lose parties because of snow. So I like to have a date available at the end of the month of January to make sure that I've got a snow date available. And I'll tell my hostesses in January, if it snows on the night of your party, either we'll turn it into a Facebook Live so all of your friends can do it, we'll just do it virtually, or you can have my snow date. This is my snow date. So we always have a backup plan for the snow. But I'm going to set my calendar and decide when I want to do my parties. The second thing is I'm going to brainstorm really hard about who deserves to have one of these January parties. Now, you're going to hear lots of objections about January parties. And this is why you don't want to waste your time with just anybody. You don't want to offer it to just anybody. You want to offer it to primo people, people who live in those towns where you really want to do parties in those neighborhoods, things like that. So that you make a list of maybe 10 total people. So you create your calendar, you make a list of those 10 special women that you're offering a party to because maybe you just want to do four parties or you just want to do five parties or six parties or three parties. And what you're going to tell them is, um, I know that you'd think that nobody has any money in January. Everybody's all tapped out and nobody wants to come to a jewelry party, but I'm here to tell you that all of your friends will be tired of their families, Wish you they got something different for Christmas oh, and they will have returns money and they will want to spend it at your jewelry party and they all, and they want to see their friends. So I want to offer a January date to you. If you're interested to get your friends over for snowflakes and Swarovski. Um, so you all can see the spring, the new spring collection. Um, I've got this date and this date available. And so we offer, you know, our dates the way that we always do, because that's how good we are at these things. So you can come up with something like that, where you meet the objection head on in your initial reach out. 
Because here's the reality. Women really do have returns money. If they know, secondly, if they know about the party before Christmas, they're going to save their pennies to come to your jewelry party with all the spring jewelry in it. Especially if it's a fun theme, you know, like bling in the new year is really cute. Snowflakes and Swarovski, um, snowflakes, sangria and Swarovski. <laughs> Things like that are, are always fun. Um, so, you know, blizzard and bling is always a good one. Um, and Wendy, you could even do that one. And that'd be really hilarious down in Florida. You could pretend that it's snowing, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So you do your calendar to figure out when you want to do your parties. You pick, pick 10 women and then you do your reach outs. You will not hear back from most of them the first time. So the next day or two, you want to make sure that you send it again to those same women, either the same message or you send them, um, the words thoughts, question mark, smiley face, thoughts, question mark, smiley face. Okay. To follow up on the message that you sent, you will get, um, a reply back from at least four or five out of the 10 that way with the second reach out. Okay. So don't give up and hopefully they'll all be yeses. And uh, if they're not, think of four or five more people to offer it to real quickly to make sure that you get all the parties that you want for January. The key is to make sure, and I did this just last night. I had somebody that I've been, we've been dithering back and forth about a party. I couldn't get her in in December. It just didn't work for our calendars. And I finally said, Hey, how about January? And Swarovski or Snowflakes and Swarovski, she went, I'm so excited. So literally within 10, 15 minutes, I had her set up in the back office. She created a Facebook event. I added a couple photos. She invited 25 friends. The party is not till January 10th. It's a whole month away. But she's already got people saying, yes, they're coming. And I've given them the shopping link. So they can shop right now for Christmas. They can shop right now for Christmas. On this party, it's not even until January. It's pretty sweet. So this is great because I'm going to have guaranteed income in January and you can too. So those are the things that I wanted to share with you. Let me just see real fast if I missed anything else. Oh, the last thing I want you to think about, this is a mindset issue. When you do those parties in January, the goal is book two from those parties. The more people who come to those parties through your host coaching, the more likely it is that you will book those two parties. The better you host coach your hostess about the benefits of booking parties from her party, the more likely it is that you're going to book two parties because if she realizes that she's going to get two pieces at 70% off by helping you book two parties, she's more likely to help you book those two parties before the party even happens. The last thing that you can consider doing is the tic-tac-toe game. So we have a tic-tac-toe hostess program, hostess sheet. It's in the Ready, Set, Glam guide. It's also on... Um, it's in the back office under resources. Um, you can print that off and give that to your hostesses and say, Hey, I've got little prizes all along the way for doing these. We've got all kinds of time between now and your party. If you're competitive, this is your chance to get some extra goodies out of me. So you can consider playing with that little tic-tac-toe game with her as well. Um, you know, not every hostess is going to love it, but if you've got four or five parties on your counter for January, you're going to find one or two who are going to take real full advantage of it. Um, and help you book parties ahead of time. Help get orders in ahead of time, especially if you're starting it right now. Any questions that you all have about this? Anybody want to share their goals? You'll have to unmute. Are we, we get the catalog. The catalog comes out on the 20th. But the incentives for December don't, I mean, for January don't come out yet, right? They'll come out December 20th because the, yeah, it'll all start December 20th. Well, they'll come out too. Uh-huh. Okay. In fact, the sales incentives that we have right now are only through December 19th. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. Yeah, I just saw that this morning. I just noticed yeah. that. Is it on the sheet? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. I it a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a whole new set starting December 20th. It's really fun. It's really fun. Uh, the Double the goodies. Closed. What? So the parties have to be closed. You got to close them. Yeah. Oh. By the 19th. That's okay. 
open up some more parties on the 20th and close them by the 31st. I did not, I did not know that. I'm glad you, I'm glad you're asking. This is why we do these things. <laughs> I didn't know that. I posted it's okay. it on the fridge. It's on but, the fridge, but I didn't. the 19th. It's in those small words at the bottom that you need your reading glasses on to see. You need your reading glasses, Grandma. Yeah. I know, right? Okay. Yeah. And this is, and this is what's fun. So all of you who are leaders are going to want to help your, your consultants see this because this is the kind of thing that the company kind of shows us as little zingers. Like they throw them in there like, Oh, 19th, close everything by the 19th. And you want to anyway, right. because you want to get everything delivered for Christmas, right? Yeah. And then you open up a bunch of new parties on December 20th. But your hostesses for January, open those parties up now so they can be shopping. Those sales that you get on those parties, they won't count toward any of your sales for December. But who cares? Those hostesses are going to be really happy in January. Oh, they'll be really happy after December 20th when they hear what they're going to get. Well, and there are people that have to shop for dates after the 25th. My yep. anniversary is the 28th. So my husband's always shopping after Christmas. <laughs> so people do shop after Christmas. They do. And they shop between Christmas and New Year's. I have a question, Betsy. Hi, Tracy. Hey, hey. <laughs> Happy holidays. Same to you. Thank you, honey. Um, my question is, it, is December 19th going to be our last of sales for 2000? um no not necessarily huh no because so the way we get paid is the whole month of december and okay. so for example to reach group leader you have till december 31st to reach group leader right or to reach whatever rank to get paid at so it's still the month when it comes to our finances but incentives shift so Starting December 20th. The new incentives for January also count for the 10 days of December? That's my understanding. Oh, okay. That works. I haven't seen them, but that's my understanding. <laughs> Does that help? Yes, okay. absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Clear as mud, right? It'll all become really clear on... The 20th. The 20th? <laughs> Just make sure... But if you want that bracelet, make sure your 4,000 in sales are in by close of business December 19th. That's a beautiful bracelet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have it. So you've touched it and you're wearing I it. I, um, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? It might, I might have it, but I don't know it. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have a big box of jewelry and I haven't had time to look at it yet. <laughs> you haven't opened it? Oh, no time like the present. No time like the present. No time like the present. Open it. Do you want to see some jewelry? Yes. All right. I have to get I have to get the the charger for my my laptop, and I have to run and get the jewelry. Okay. Will, will you give me like three minutes? Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay. All right. Now I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>